Hello everyone and welcome back to High Mathematics. In this video we are going to solve this interesting algebra problem. We know that x plus xy plus y equal to 54 and we need to find the sum x plus y. How can we find this sum x plus y? First of all we need to use a little bit trick right here in this expression. So let's start with with this expression in the beginning. So we have that x plus xy and plus y equal to 54. So this is the first expression. Let's factor out from here this x. So we have x and x, so we can easily factor out it. So x and in parentheses we will have 1 plus y. And of course the same plus y equal to 54. So I just factor out x from these two, two expressions. And take a look, right here we have y, and right here we have y as well, but we have 1 plus y right here. In these parentheses. So if we add right here 1 and if we add right here 1, we will have a really interesting case. Take a look. We will have x times 1 plus y and plus y plus 1 equal to 54 plus 1. So we just add 1 to both both sides. Right here we add 1 and right here we have add 1. So nothing changed. But take a look. This element this element and this element are the same because 1 plus y equal to y plus 1. So we can easily factor out this, this expression. So 1 plus y we can factor out and in parentheses we'll have right here we'll have from here x and from here we will have 1 x plus 1 equal to 55. We add 1. So as you can see we have a really good case because we have parentheses product of two parentheses equal to 55. But I want to mention uh, one thing. So we know that x and y is natural numbers. So x is greater than, greater or equal to 1 and y is greater or equal to 1 because it is natural number. And if we multiply both numbers that is greater than 1 we will have that xy is greater or equal to 1. So this is a rule that we need a little bit later because x and y are natural numbers. So let's use these rules. First of all we have a product of two parentheses, but on the right hand side we have 55. How can we express this 55? Of course the classic 11 times 5 as 5 times 11 as 55 times 1, f 55 times 1 and 1 times 55. So four, four cases. But right here, if we multiply, if we have 1 plus y and x plus 1, so 1 plus y will be, and x plus 1 will be right here greater than 2 and right here greater than 2, because we will have 1 plus a number that is greater or equal to 1. So we reject which cases? We reject this case and this case. This one and this one is is good for us. So let's solve this. Let's solve these interesting, interesting cases. Firstly, we have that x plus 1 equal to 11 and x plus and y, y plus 1 equal to 5. So let's let's solve this first system. We will have that x plus 1 equal to 11 and y plus 1 equal to 5. And from here we will have other solutions that our x equal to our x equal to x plus 1 right here will have 11 and y plus 1 equal to 5. And we have a second system of equations that our x plus 1 equal to 5 to 5 and our y plus 1 equal to 11. And take a look. If we add this, for example, system of equation, if we have, I write it right here, we will have that our x plus y x plus y equal to x plus 1 and plus y plus 1, y plus 1, and, <coughs> and of course minus 2, minus 2 from this system, and we will have 11 plus 5 minus 2, and this sum will be equal to, will be equal to 14. So our sum x plus y is equal to 14. So x plus y equal to 14. 
So I hope you understand this explanation. If you don't understand, write a question in the comment, write your suggestion in the comment. It will be really interesting to read it. And of course, subscribe for more videos if you enjoy it. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next videos.